All right. So that was Shashi Tharoor uh, talking about his comment of Hindu Pakistan. Remember, we've been saying this again and again. These two words, Hindu and Muslim, for the past at least one and a half years, were a taboo for the Congress. They had imposed this on themselves. And now suddenly, Hindu and Muslim is back into the discourse. Why is that so? Why is that so? I've got Ahmed Khan, the editor of editor in chief of Rehnuma Daily, with me. He joins us from our studios in Hyderabad. Ahmed Khan, would you have an answer to this question? Why do you think the Congress has started using Hindu Muslim again? I can speak from our own experience. We uh, our paper was established in 1921, and we've had to adapt to the changing India and the changing market base. So while we are an Urdu paper, now we have to have an online English edition. So I think while I'm not defending or speaking against anything, the fact is I think they've realized the fact that we need to readapt ourselves to the actual dialogue going on in India right now. And a lot of it, whether we like it or not, is religion-centric. So let's deal with it. Um, okay. Yeah. But Emma, here, yeah, Emma, you know, the, the one, one question that I have for you is that how will this play out, at least in the Muslim community? On one hand, you have a leader who says that, uh, you know, this country will become a Hindu Pakistan. I'm asking you this question specifically because this is the same party that kept saying, that kept saying that we will not engage in a Hindu-Muslim debate, to suddenly using that phrase themselves. And then Rahul Gandhi's interview in a daily called Inkala, where he says that this is a party for Muslims. Well, I think that Rahul's comments... Um, How does this play out? I think it, de it definitely could be misinterpreted by the majority and also by people that don't support Congress. Going back to the point, though, is that it, I think his, his comments, they were, clear for, they were clarified in which he said this is a party for Muslims and any other Indians that are here. So it, at, that, at that note, I mean, if you look at it, technically speaking, I mean, under the BJP, 62% of the spending for the minority budget has increased since last year. So does that make, you know, uh, the BJP a, a, a Muslim party? We have so many different uh, wonderful initiatives that were done uh, by, uh, by this current government, right? That have, that have led to a lot of uh, uh, happiness among Muslims as well. That doesn't make uh, you know, one party Muslim or the other one Muslim. It means it's a party open to different Indians of different cultural backgrounds. Whether they be Indian uh, Muslims, whether they be Indian Hindu, whether they be Indian Christians. And look, one thing we have to keep in mind, especially this issue of Indian Muslims. I'm not uh, claiming to be the stakeholder, to be the sole voice and representative of Indian Muslim sentiment. But let's look historically. Indian Muslims, we yeah. have contributed. We have contributed a lot to our country. We are part of India. We are not part of Pakistan. We are not part of another country. Ah, absolutely. Absolutely. And we have, listen, there's so much. I think, I think you have summed up the sentiment really well, Ahmed. We are Indian. Yeah, we are yeah. not Pakistanis. In 1757, saying, Siraj ud Dawla started the first call for independence. You go back, what, even uh, up until the, the, the independence movement, how many Muslims were part of that movement? How much have, have Indian Muslims contributed? This is not because they were Muslim. They contributed because they're Indian, right? There's even debate, debate now among yeah. academics on the role, on the role of a Muslim woman in the making or in the in in, in, in our flag, in the in, in the making of our flag. So you know, Correct. there's so many other points that we can look at. I mean, I think that if you're being sensitive, let's, let's just say. Yeah, let's just say, I'm running out of time, Ahmed, and uh, it was great catching up with you, and uh, I apologize that I had to make you wait because of the other discussion that we were, happen uh, we were having. We're going to de debate and discuss this further in the future, and I promise you that, because what you're saying is very, very significant. It calls for a greater debate and much greater time. But thank you so much, because what Ahmed seems to be saying as we come to the end of this broadcast, what Ahmed seems to be saying is very, very significant. Let us not divide a voter base on religion. It will not work like that. I don't know. It may, be, it may have been working all this while, but Congress, after realizing that it will not work and re-realizing that it will, perhaps could be their biggest mistake. Thanks so much for watching this edition of India Ahead at Nine. My colleague Sana Khan joins you on the other side. Good night and goodbye.